Hi there, so let's do some logarithmic law examples. Evaluate the expression reduced to simplest terms. Okay, so what we have here, as you can see, we've got a log, and this is not the base of the log. The base is not written, which means that it's a base 10. Okay, if there's no base, we need to know it's base 10, base 10. Uh, and then we see that the input for the first log is 2 to the power of 2 and the other one is 5 to the power of 2. Now, uh, what I am going to do, since I've got the same basis and I'm adding two logarithms, I'm allowed to use that law of mine that says when logarithms are added, I may multiply the input. So I'm going to put log, it's still base 10, I don't need to write it, then the inputs are being multiplied to 2 to the power of 2 times 5 to the power of 2. Okay, now I am allowed to just simplify the interior. Uh, the interior you can simplify as uh, 2 squared and 5 squared. 2 squared is 4 and 5 squared is uh, 25. So 4 times 25 is 100. Or you can just multiply the bases of the input. So you're treating it separate. Okay, so you're treating it separate. We multiply the input. Uh, the bases then give me 10 to the power of 2. And then what I'm allowed to do is when I've got an exponent in my input, it may become the coefficient of the log. Okay, so it may multiply the coefficient of the log, which is 1. So this is just 10. 10. And now I know 10 to the power of what gives me 10? Well, it's 10 to the power of 1. Or just another easy way to, to do this is just knowing that when my base and my input is the same, the log of that is 1 for a very simple reason. So that's my final answer. 2 times, and this thing becomes 1. So the whole thing is 2 times 1, which is just 2. Not too bad.